In this particular video, we're watching a procedure of microneedling with stem cell treatment. We've done a video on microneedling before, and the technique here is very similar or identical to the original microneedling video that was posted on Cutis. Here we're using a similar technique to do the microneedling part of this procedure, but the difference with this procedure as opposed to the first video with microneedling is instead of using platelet-rich plasma or PRP, we're actually using stem cells. And you can see here the application of the stem cells after the microneedling is done. So initially, we used a hyaluronic acid-based moisturizing gel to glide the microneedling piece on the patient's skin. And then after the three passes, three to four passes of microneedling is, is done, we applied stem cells to the area in order for them to penetrate into the epidermis and dermis. So essentially, in this particular procedure, we're using microneedling for two reasons. One is to stimulate collagen in the dermis and to break up any scar tissue or adhesion as well as stimulate the epidermal layer. But really we're mostly using this as a delivery vehicle to be able to apply the stem cells as you're watching right here onto the patient's skin so they can penetrate through the epidermis into the dermis. So the stem cells that we're using in this particular video are based on umbilical cord. These are umbilical cord stem cells. And the product we use is purchased from a company that actually buys umbilical cords after C-sections and is able to extract pluripotent nascent or, or young uh, stem cells from, from those umbilical cords. And there are several advantages to using this versus the adipose tissue or bone marrow stem cells. These are younger cells, they're healthier cells because they're not from the actual patient. The patient's not the donor, it's a, it's a different donor. And therefore, these cells are basically very, very young and very, very healthy. The health of the cells is not dependent on the health of the donor. The amount of cells that we're able to extract in one of these treatments is actually much larger than you're able to extract from adipose tissue or from bone marrow. When you use adipose or bone marrow stem cells, there's some variability in the number of stem cells that you're actually being able to extract, or here the number is quite higher. So why do we use these? Well, we know that stem cells have a multiple aesthetic benefits. They've been shown to help smooth out wrinkles and lines, improve appearance of acne scars and scarring in general. They promote healing of damaged skin cells and facilitate tissue repair. That's really one of their main functions. There's also increase in collagen production that's been noted with stem cells. And theoretically, these cells can actually become fibroblasts or collagen producing cells in the dermis if they're in the environment where collagen is being stimulated. Uh, another application of these can be in alopecia in use with combination with platelet-rich plasma or alone. Um, now these stem cells can be used with various modalities that we're already using in our practice such as microneedling as you're watching in this video, but also other treatments such as laser resurfacing, all therapy, fillers, and uh, other aesthetic treatments. So you're watching here the remainder of the procedure with the uh, microneedling as we're doing the full face microneedling resurfacing and then applying stem cells uh, over the top. The expectation for this patient is that stem cells will decrease the amount of downtime because they do help repair the tissue faster than normal. And the expectation is that this patient will get more collagen production and perhaps some of the stem cells could actually become fibroblasts in the tissue and help to produce collagen in this particular patient long term.